It's never too late for sweetness. On one side, the school tyrant Chi Yu wishes to dispel gossip regarding him being in a same sex relationship. On the other side, the academic tyrant Fu Xiang wishes for the gossip between them to turn into truth. Who will win? One serving of sweet and sour ribs. One serving of sweet and sour ribs. Thank you. Sweet and sour ribs. Please be quick. Auntie, sweet and sour ribs. Thank you. I didn't expect the two school princes to be at the same place at the same time. And for a serving of sweet and sour ribs. Uh, I wish I could be the sweet and sour ribs right now. There's only enough sweet and sour ribs left for a single serving. How about... I'm quite picky and this is what I want to eat right now. I want sweet and sour ribs too. Fujian, is there something wrong with your head? Worry, forget it. I don't want to waste the time for the students behind me. You can have the ribs. Who the hell wants to eat your unwanted food? Alright then, since that's the case, Auntie, I'd like to have that serving of ribs. Thank you. What horrible luck. This is honestly a bit too sweet. Do you really not know who Chi Yu is? He's the one who is always on the list of school princes with you. But he definitely isn't the same type as you. The number of reflections he has written every year can be collated into a huge book from all the trouble he causes. Uh, but since he was born into a rich family, he can just pretty much do whatever he wants. I even heard that his parents have never attended the parent teacher meeting. He can't be an illegitimate child, can he? You've been sitting here talking to me for a while now, but who are you? Stop joking around, Fujiang. I have been sitting in front of you for almost half a semester now. I don't remember you. Also, Don't just go touching around other people's food. I've already grown tired of eating you. So how is it that he likes eating you so much? Chiyu? Hey, Chiyu. Don't block my way. That, that thing I told you previously, have you considered it? Give me a sec. Which one is yours? Here, look for it yourself. Chu Yi, you've gone too far. Crazy.
You mentioned before that you like girls with ponytails. Look, I have a ponytail now. I can't even count how many times I've rejected a confession at this point. Even the monkey kid had thought of quitting during the journey of the vest. Her tenacity is truly quite admirable. Strictly speaking, yours can't be considered a ponytail. But I'll grow into a ponytail one day. Well, I've no way to refute that. But if I don't think of a way to make her give up, the class teacher will be having a talk with me. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you before. I really should have said this from the very start. Anyway, there's actually someone who I already like. Can I know who it is? It's her. Such slender legs. Well then, I'll be going now. Is my love story really going to end before it even starts? However, aren't the legs of that girl way too long? Wait. Th that's... you what the hell are you looking at wait could it be oh my god This is too shocking, but I don't seem to see them talk to each other that much. Silly, they must be pretending like they don't know each other. I mean, we're losing two princes at once. Uh, isn't that actually a disaster for our school? Hey, why are you all so noisy? Can't you quiet down a bit? Hmm, they usually listen after I yell at them. So what's with those weird smiles just now? Who the hell posted this? It wasn't me. I only saw this now. Damn. I understand each word separately. You, come here. Fujian, what in the world are you up to? I was simply looking for an excuse to reject a girl. And you chose to go with creating such a huge ruckus just to reject one girl? You're the one making such a big deal out of it. How the hell do you plan on resolving this? Who said I was going to resolve this? This doesn't really bother me, but if it bothers you, 
then I might consider thinking of a solution. Just quickly clean this mess up. Back me then. You're quite fast at dodging, aren't you? We've lived across each other since we were children. We were both the child next door to our parents. You should learn from that kid of the Chu family. A boy should be more active and muscular. Little you, why can't you be more gentle like Xiang? That was why we didn't like talking to each other. If we ever bumped into each other, we would pretend not to know each other. Wouldn't be kid, what's with that poker face? Acting all mature at a young age. What's so good with this pretentious prick who acts like a hooligan? That was why we never thought we'd end up in such an awkward situation like the one we're currently in. Huh? Why would I beg you? I don't care about this either. Do you all want to die? Woman, wait. After all this time chasing him, this is the first time he's taking the initiative to talk to me. I want to explain. I understand. Even though I know I'm not pretty to you and that you aren't interested in me, you don't need to use Chi Yu to dissuade me. I'm not giving up. Sorry to you, it looks like this mess will be staying a while longer. What's with all this bullshit? Hmm, what's this? What the hell? Fujian can't possibly be that handsome. Uh, it's finally time for them to split us into different classes. God, please bless me to be in the same class as a school prince. Hocus pocus, may the school bell be my classmate. Babe, we're not in the same class. The new class name lists are out. I'm in Holy shit, Chi you? What the hell are you doing here?
doing homework? Oh my, we have the two great school princes in our class. They seem rather contentious. Do they know each other? How unlucky. I'm Lin Jing, and I'll be your homeroom teacher for your sophomore year. It's a great pleasure to get to spend the next two years with you all. Fujian, are you short-sighted? No. Nope. Then you can sit next to Chiyu. Try to sit down if you dare. Sure. I'll try. Just you wait and see. Don't cross the line. Go bald. Go bald. Chi you stop it. What's wrong with you? Why did you choose the science classes? To challenge myself. Do you really want to die that badly? Well, as long as you're alive, I won't be dying just yet. Oh, you know how to talk back now, huh? If I punch Fu Jian, won't he just end up blaming me for his life? You stay away from me. Don't turn and let me see your ugly face. And if your arms and legs cross this line, I'll straight away chop you down and feed you to the dogs. Oh hey, your love rails fell on the ground. Do you want to collect them or something? That's none of your business. This chapter mainly introduces short stories written by Chinese and Western authors. If you dare to cross the line, I'll chop you down. <clears> hmm. <throat> Chiyu? Who told you to turn your poker face over? Turn it back. You. Chiyu, stand up. What are you doing over there? Listening to class? Great, then repeat what I just said. Well, I'll just say whatever and get it over with. As the saying goes, when you know something, then you know it, but what you don't know remains unknown. Go stand in the hallway. Damn you. I knew he had bad intentions. Why did I just let him lead me by the nose? What the heck are you looking at? Here, have a good look. That's all I'm gonna give you. Serves you right. Who are you pointing those at? Nobody.
see you, you're already in the sophomore year. You might be poor in art subject, but your signs are good. There's still time for you to start working hard this year. Stop. Are you thinking of running away? I came out here to look for you. Why the hell are you so close to me, psycho? While there are so many people around, you better hurry up and clear up the misunderstanding. It isn't what you all are thinking. While I do indeed like him, it's one-sided. Did your brain turn into mush? What bullshit are you spouting? What? Didn't I just clear it up for you? Also, being gay is my business. He really isn't any different from when he was younger. He's still so skinny. <laughs> 